Hey guys, Mrs. Safanoff here. Um, I wanted to go over this assignment that you'll be doing. Um, so my hybrid in-person students, you guys will be doing this in class with um, the substitute and then my virtual students, you will just do this um, whenever on your own. But I did wanna just kind of go over and make sure you understood what needed to happen for this assignment. Um, so what you are going to do is you are gonna head into Schoology. And then this is in the same general area for both classes, but I'm just gonna go into hybrid. All right, and then it is in your, obviously your in-class folder, as you can see that ugly sw um, holiday sweater rhetorical appeals assignment was on your checklist. Um, what you need to do with this is you are going to be using um, the three rhetorical appeals, so ethos, logos, and pathos, and you are trying to convince me that you have created the ugliest sweater of all time, okay? So this first page right here, this is just a um, review page, all right? It's going over ethos, pathos, and logos, appealing to ethics, emotion, and logic. And you can obviously also look back at your notes that, we, that you took um, in our Zoom class or by the that video lesson that I created for you last week. Um, what you are going to do, now there's a few different ways that you can do this. You can do the entire thing digitally. So that means you can um, design your own sweater somewhere else and upload a picture and then fill in a text box. You can um, design your own, you know, get a, a blank picture of a sweater and put it on a Google Doc and then just answer these questions. That's completely up to you. I'm giving you the creative freedom to do so. Um, if you are a person that does not like to do things digitally, um, I totally get it. I don't like to just like color things digitally. You can um, print this off or um, just follow the instructions and do it on a blank piece of paper. Um, if you want to draw your own sweater, you can do that. And then you just answer the questions, okay? So you can do this on paper or you can do it digitally. If you are in the in-person class of mine, um, the substitute has copies of this that you can use. Okay. So first thing you need to do is review the rhetorical appeals then, and listen very, very carefully to this. So you don't do more work than you need to. You choose either this slide or this slide, slide two or slide three to do. They are the same thing, just different formats. Okay, you do not need to complete both of them. If you are in class, you choose page two or page three. You do not need to complete both of them. Okay, what you're gonna do is remember you, rhetorical appeals are all about persuading people, persuading people to buy a product or to drink Sprite or to vote for this president. You need to persuade me that you have created the ugliest sweater of all time. And I've seen some really, 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 really ugly sweaters in my days. So I'm going to have pretty high standards. Um, what you're going to do is you are going to create the ugly sweater first. So you can put in pictures, you can color it in, you can create different artwork, things like that. Okay. Make this super ugly. Then you need to use write ethos, pathos, and logos. And remember, this is the same thing in this page. You were just highlighting the appeals instead. So I would create my sweater and then I'm going to use ethos. I'm going to answer the questions like, and this is going to involve some creativity. You're going to make up some answers. That's what you're supposed to be doing here. Okay. Ethos, remember, is appealing to ethics and moral character. So I might say that a celebrity is wearing this sweater. Or I might say that I have the ugliest sweater because I um, got some design inspiration from my design school. I have, remember, you're going to talk about your credentials. I have a degree in fashion design or whatever. You get to make that up. Pathos, I'm trying to appeal to your emotions. So is this sweater trying to make people feel sad? Is it trying to be funny? Things like that. And then logos. Now this one's tricky because it's more creative. Remember logos is just facts. Um, so what are some facts you can tell me that are going to convince me, hey, this is the ugliest sweater of all time? Is it the colors that you used that contrast? Is it the size of it? Is it the type of cotton you use, whatever, totally up to you, okay? This is gonna involve some creativity. This is supposed to be fun. This is not something you should be stressed out about.
okay? So you get to choose either that slide. If you do not like that format, you're gonna do slide three, which is the same situation with the designing the sweater, but then you're just gonna write out kind of all together why it's the ugliest and you're gonna highlight times that you use logos, um, ethos and pathos in different colors. Um, so reminder, you can do this digitally or you can do this on paper, that's up to you. If you do not finish this in class, which you should have more than enough time to do so, um, this is due to say December 22nd at midnight, which it should not take you that long to do it, okay? Um, feel free to shoot me a message if you need me, um, or if you need to do a video chat, we can do that as well. But I'm excited to see what you guys come up with.